The Iranian scientist who suddenly turned up at the Pakistani embassy in Washington earlier this week is back in Tehran. Sharam Amiri claimed Thursday that he was abducted by American agents and suffered mental and physical torture at the hands of his U.S. interrogators. Speaking with reporters after arriving in Tehran, Amiri repeated his claims that he was snatched while on a pilgrimage last year in the Saudi holy city of Medina. He also claims that CIA officers offered him $50 million to remain in America. Amiri appeared Tuesday at the Pakistani embassy in Washington, saying he wanted to be sent home. Mr. Amiri has been in the United States of his own free will, uh, and he is free to go. In fact, he was scheduled to travel to Iran yesterday. U.S. officials added that Amiri was not abducted, saying the 32-year-old man was someone who in fact reached out to U.S. officials. Amiri had worked at a university in Tehran that is closely connected with the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. Thursday, he sought to downplay his role in Iran's nuclear program, which Washington and its allies fear could be used to create atomic weapons. When he arrived in Tehran, Amiri was greeted by his family, including his seven-year-old son. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.